Okay, boys and girls, we're going to learn how to draw our very own turtle and then decorate it and colour it. And once we've got that turtle created, we're then going to paint a background, cut our turtle out and then paste it onto this background and then we've got a completed art project. So I'm just going to put our little guy to the side. What you're going to get are some construction crayons. Now with your paper, you need to have it landscape, so it means it's going longer this direction. So this is called landscape. Get yourself a colour out of the construction crayon box. I'm going to start with this one. We're going to do it together as a class. The very first thing I would like us to do is draw two small ovals. So we're going to work about here. These are going to be the eyes. So I'm going to draw an oval and right beside it another oval. An oval is really like a shape of an egg. So there are my eyes. Next thing, I, I want to change my colour. You can keep the same colour if you want to. I'm going to draw the head. I'm going to do a larger oval. So now you can see that's the head for our turtle. Okay? Next thing, I'm going to take another colour and I'm going to draw the top of the shell a dome. So if you can see, I'm not making a little tiny shape, I'm going to make a big arc. It's a bit like a rainbow shape. Bring it down like that. And I'm going to do a little bit there. So now I've got the oval eyes, oval head, and I've created a dome shape for the top of the shell. I'm going to draw the line to join the shell together. Like that. I'm going to draw another line underneath it. And it could be just like the width of your finger. That's the base of the shell. I'm going to just join it up like that. I'm going to get a dark crayon or a construction crayon and I'm going to draw two circles, two dots, inside those oval eyes. So now my turtle's got eyes and you know which direction that he's looking in. I'm going to keep the same colour, I like that colour. I'm going to draw the legs and they're like long U, so I'll just pull it up a little bit. So I go U, it's like the letter U, 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 U. So now I've got four legs. Now there's my design ready. How I broke mine up, and I'll give you an example sheet how to do it, I brought a line across like that. I'm just going to change my colours out. And I made zigzags. What you can do is actually draw triangles like that and colour them in. Or if you're very good at doing zigzags, just keep your crayon and keep it going like so. When I show you this example, I broke up with lots of different designs. I did circles with colours inside and out. I did rainbow bands, love hearts, diamonds, checkers, more triangles, and then I did blocks. It's up to you how you want to decorate your, your turtle. Don't forget, when you've got to that stage, also give him a nice smile as well. When you've got it all done, you're going to cut him out. Okay, so that it's ready for your background. Okay? We're going to get ready for our background now. Again, you're going to get a piece of paper and you're going to have it landscape. You're going to get some brown paint. Mix a little bit of brown. You can add a little bit of white if you want to change the colour. And we're going to just do the bottom half. Always make sure before you start this that you do have your name on the back of your projects and I'll remind you when you start this as well. And then go side to side. You're going to have the table covered so don't worry about it going off the edges. You want to make it that it goes off side to side. Nice brush strokes. Just going to add a little bit of white so you're adding a tint to it as well. And fill that in. So I don't want any blue showing, okay, because this is the ground for our turtle, okay? Now when you change colour, always remember to wash your brush and always remember to keep your water nice and clean. Now you'll have some yellow, so to make a sunshine, up here, draw like a circle, spiral it round, 
a little bit more paint if you want, spiral it round, and then you can do nice little strokes that shoot out to make a beautiful glowing sun. If you want to add a little bit of white just to change the tint of it and spiral it round again. Then I'm going to give you some dark green and then some green that's mixed with white and some yellow. Okay, so you get a, a lighter green as well. And we're going to paint big cactuses. We're going to start, bring it up, and then bring your angles out like that. So you've got these arms for these prickly cactuses. Okay, you can do one, two, three, it's up to you. I'm just going to do a couple here. Okay. So it's ready for our turtle. This is his environment, this is where he lives. And I'm gonna just set that now to dry for a little while while I cut out my turtle. When he's dry, you can take a colored crayon and then you can add just little tiny dashes to make it have those, those prickly spines. Okay, I'm just going to do a, a, few, a little bit there, okay? So you can see how, when this is dry, how it actually works. And you see there the texture, we're adding texture to it now. If I just go back to the one I was just painting, you've got two shades of green, so you could even add in a little bit more darker green with the lighter green. So you get some nice variation with light and darkness with that green tints and shades back to my dry one that I've got here and you can also if you want to you can add some extra detail now you've got the crayons and everything's nice and dry I'm going to add some spirals to my Sun a few more prickly spines to my other cactus that's there and then with a glue stick now I've got this little guy cut out I'm going to get my glue stick and I'm going to go around the shape of the turtle first, around the whole shape, okay? Crisscross at the back. So now I know that when I glue him down, there we are, he's not going to move. And there you are, boys and girls. Now it's your turn. Let's go make some art. <laughs> 